What is up, ladies and gentlemen? What is up? It's your boy Ryan, the professional here. I am back again. Uh, shout out to all my new subscribers. Welcome to the channel. Oh, excuse me. I've had a very, very busy day, so I didn't get a chance to uh, drop a video for you guys, but it's all good. I'm back. Um, shout out to everybody who came by the Truth Podcast. Thank you guys so very, very much. Uh, if you missed this on the channel, go ahead and check that out. Um, yes, I did get your messages. Those of you who hit me up. Uh, God of War is getting a PS4 Pro bundle. Looks dope. I'm not going to lie. Looking good. So God of War is definitely getting the respect that it deserves. Uh, I don't think they actually showed the console. They just showed, like, you know, what's going to be coming with. So, um, hey, good to, you know, lo and behold. Uh, and also, uh, PUBG is also getting some love, man. PUBG is pretty much Xbox's uh, best-selling game as of uh, right now for the most part. So, you know, the best game on the Xbox, you know, is getting a bundle with uh, the Xbox One. So that's pretty cool. You know, you're getting bundles for both games. So good. Good for them. Good for Sony and Microsoft. Good for them. Go cop them if you're interested in all of them. But with that being said, let's get into why we're here. Uh, Sony Pictures Entertainment could be up for sale, ladies and gentlemen. They could be up for sale. Now, this basically is coming from, um, <clears throat> you know, this whole thing has been coming out since... Uh, Kai Sarai has officially um, stepped down and has become a chairman of the board of directors. Since he stepped down and became the chairman of the board of directors, you have uh, chief, the new chief financial officer and CEO of Sony, Kenichiro Yoshida, basically, you know, saying, hey, look, you know, we, we might have to sell this off. We're not really interested in this. Now, um, a few titles are under Sony's name if they do sell Sony Pictures, um, one of which is Ghostbusters. And the other is Spider-Man. Now, uh, they sell Spider-Man. For all of you that might be like screaming, oh my God, doesn't mean we lose Spider-Man the PS4 game. No. You see, just like Marvel and just like Sony, they both companies own bits and pieces of Spider-Man. When it comes to Spider-Man in terms of the comics, Marvel owns that. When it comes to toys, Marvel owns that. And when it comes to, uh, there was one more thing that Marvel owned for Spider-Man. Toys and like other stuff like Funko Pops and all that other weird stuff, all that stuff like that, that's owned by uh, Marvel. When it comes to Sony, Sony usually earns uh, owns, excuse me, the marketing rights for the movie or the mar the movies and all that jazz. They have the movie rights, they have the gaming uh, rights, as well as a few other things. So if Sony was to lose Spider Man, you know, due to the entertainment, you know, being sold off, you know, Sony Picture Entertainment, uh, you know, being sold off, most likely Sony would just sell the movie rights, you know, to Disney because that's who's basically interested in buying this is Disney. If Disney gets their hands on Spider Man, then most likely Disney will incorporate Spider Man more with the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and most likely you'll probably see the Infinity War Part Two get delayed by another year, and they'll probably try to put more movies in the you know in the middle to build that up even more you never know but i doubt it i really doubt that they'll put more movies in there you know we've already got confirmation that you know well we've been had confirmation that we were going to get like a spider-man homecoming two and a three or something like that right so you know i don't think they'll you know they'll branch it off or push it forward but you know I mean, it's cool uh, as far as like you know spider-man's concerned though a lot of you guys were talking about venom you know that spider-man or i'm sorry not spider-man but the venom movie that sony is producing uh that movie will be coming out very soon and um there are rumors that tom holland aka spider-man for the spider-man homecoming series will be in that game you know or in that movie and uh will have a cameo so you know hey, if it happens it happens i got no problem with sony selling uh the movie rights to marvel I have no problem with that. A lot of people might go, what? You have no problem with that? I really don't because I look at it like this, man. The last legit movie, you know, Spider-Man movie that we have from, uh, you know, PlayStation. The last good <clears throat> Spider-Man movie we had from them was Spider-Man 2. Spider-Man 2 with Tobey Maguire was the last, like, good, you know, Spider-Man movie that's, you know, Sony actually put out there. Other than that, it kind of went downhill. We, not, we haven't had a good one since, you know. We had Spider-Man 3, which, you know, by itself was a letdown because, one, they crammed too many villains in there and the pacing was off, right? You know, that wasn't a well-received one. And then they tried to reboot it with Andrew Garfield. Now, a lot of people give Andrew Garfield a lot of trash, you know, for what, for his portrayal. But I thought Andrew Garfield brought something. I mean, he was, he was you know, doable as the character. But I do agree, though. He wasn't the greatest Spider-Man, so... We had that, and ever since then, you know, Spider-Man just was up in the air, and people were really speculating that, you know, Spider-Man just going to be trash at this point, and then, 
one little partnership that Sony has with Disney, we get a diamond out of the rough. We get Spider-Man Homecoming. So, again, I have no problem with uh, Sony selling it to Disney. I have no problem. But this does paint a very vivid picture of what's going to happen with Disney. Disney is going to pretty much scoop up everything. They already bought, you know, the X-Men, right? And they, since they bought the X-Men, they're going to buy Spider-Man. And most likely, you're probably going to get, you know, uh, the Avengers with all the characters. Hell, you may, if they ever decide to do this, you never know. You never know. It's good. But as far as people being, like, scared in terms of the gaming, uh, you know, landscape, like, oh, my God, you know, that, that means Sony's going to lose Spider-Man in the game. I highly doubt Sony will sell the rights to the video games. Why? Because that's something that's one of their major, you know, uh, sellers. And that's one of their major anticipated games. So I highly doubt Sony will get rid of that at all. But they most certainly will probably get rid of the movies. And, hey, they want to get rid of the movies. More power to them. You know what I'm saying? More power to them. I can't, uh, you know, can't, can't wish them bad for that. You know what I'm saying? But, um, you know, with them doing this, Sony will be officially a PlayStation, uh, phones, and TV business. So, three, three businesses now. They'll be down to three businesses instead of, you know, being branched down to multiple things with the possibility of losing profit. They'll be in more more of a of a um, manageable you know business with three different uh, divisions as opposed to having six or seven so there you go um but that's pretty much it though i mean i don't think i don't think this is bad news at all i really don't you know spider-man going to marvel is pretty much it's like you know it's just you going back home basically you know that's basically where he belongs he does belong with marvel you know i never really understood how sony really got you know, their hands on, well, actually, I do got, I understand, because Marvel wasn't, you know, doing their thing back then, but still, you know, it's, it's better that Marvel gets their hands on Spider-Man, rather than anybody else, you know, get their hands on Spider-Man, so, you know, that's why I look at it like, but, um, as far as Disney's concerned, you know, Disney's doing their thing again, uh, they're scooping up everything they could possibly get, I highly doubt Disney will be interested in Ghostbusters, so, those of you that might be like, oh my god, I'm gonna get Ghostbusters too, doubt it, I really do doubt it, but, you never know. This is Disney. You never know. This is Disney. But uh, that's it, man. That's it. That is it. You know, is it good news? It's good news in terms of the movies. I would say that much. Uh, you know, it's good in terms of the movies. Bad news is, you know, Sony will be officially getting rid of another division. But, you know, it's a division that was very hit and miss to begin with. You know, their movie division hasn't really been bringing in those crazy sellers. They really haven't. Now, again, Jumanji is one of those uh, rare occasions where they get a, you know, they get a, a nice little uh, seller. Jumanji's doing pretty well. It's breaking, uh, you know, box office records, so it's doing good. And Spider-Man broke box office uh, records. It sold more than Spider-Man 2 from Sony, right? So, you know, it did good. It did good, but that's pretty much it. Other than that, Sony's movie's just been trash for the most part they haven't really been good so you know even even with the biased media that was paid off with the ghostbusters you know movie i'm sorry i'm sorry but ghostbusters with the uh you know the new ghostbuster movie uh i know i might get flack for that but i just i don't think it it had the i don't know it just didn't have the chemistry that i was hoping for for a ghostbuster movie you know that i don't know i don't know what to say about that one. i really don't but uh, i'm rambling at this point i'm rambling uh that's it though spider-man you know could very well go back to Marvel, and Sony Pictures Entertainment could be bought by the uh, Disney. So there you go, there you go. Um, if you guys liked the video, hit the thumbs up, thumbs down if you did not. Make sure you follow me on Twitter. It's in the description below, and of course, subscribe to the channel if you have not done so already. But uh, you know, it's pretty interesting. I ain't gonna lie, it's pretty interesting. This actually kind of shocked me when I read this, and I'm surprised a lot of people didn't report this or talk about this. So you know, hey. More power to them, man. More power to them. But um, as far as uh, gaming division-wise, I think we're good. I don't think Spider-Man is going anywhere. If it does, like let's say they do announce that it will be going to back to Marvel, then I'll say I'll do a follow-up. But something tells me I won't need to. So that being said, you guys be good. And I'll catch you guys later. Deuces.